Welcome back. One final point before we go. Happy Thanksgiving. A day of family and friends and turkey and tense atmospheres at the dinner table as politics clash and tempers flare. Every year I see about 12 articles around the internet telling liberals how to deal with old Uncle Floyd, that racist Republican in everybody's family. Those guides are full of safe spaces and grandstanding and trigger warnings of how to show your ignorant Republican family what's what. And so I have prepared for you this handy dandy guide of how to teach your socialist snowflake relatives about socialism this Thanksgiving. Number one, give your millennial cousin Mandy a piece of the pie that she brought. She said it was cooked herself, but it was from Costco, thank you, capitalism. Then when she's about to take a bite of that pie, take half of it away and give it to fat lazy cousin Ralphie who didn't bring anything to dinner but an expanding waistline. Number two, take all the toilet paper out of the bathroom. When your liberal relatives complain, just shrug and say, socialism, isn't this what y'all wanna bring here? Number three, when everybody is sitting around the table waiting for turkey to be carved and their plates filled with delicious goodness, serve old shoes instead, just like they had to eat in the Soviet Union thanks to socialism. Number four, don't forget the kids, have the gender neutrally dressed kids rat out their parents so Big Brother knows who dissents from the government and knows who to throw in prison. Number five, make all the uncles and grandfathers who were so woke they had I'm with her stickers on their Priuses, make them sit in the corner to eat their meal. They're the patriarchy. It's even worse if they're white. I'm not sure you should feed them at all. Number six, accuse your feminist relatives of horrible crimes and demand that they be convicted without proof. Because believe all accusations, right? Who needs rule of law? Number seven, steal progressive Aunt Margie's purse and empty her wallet to pay for everybody's college. Then when she runs out of money, throw a hissy fit and demand that we just pay for it, even though there's no money left and the money you stole from her wasn't yours. Number eight, when the woke teenagers get the flu from each other, tell them that they can have free healthcare, universal healthcare, but they'll have to wait for an appointment until after the first of the year. Number nine, and of course, when you finally decide to feed your liberal family, make them wait in line for hours, just like the government bureaucrats make the people wait in line for everything in socialist nations. And then, thank the dear Lord above that we live in a free nation and thank God for the men and women in our military who serve and sacrifice to protect our liberty so we don't have to live in a tyranny be God of socialism. Happy Thanksgiving. And that is my final point. You can reach me on Twitter at Liz underscore Wheeler. If you like the show, please send me an email at oann.com slash contact. In the meantime, catch us here tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern. And until then, have a good night.